This movie doesn't really make sense. They don't really explain why this stuff's happening. They kind of explain it in the movie. But it's definitely better explained in the description of the movie. A guy goes to war. His girlfriend um, gets lonely. So she cheats on him with another guy. He comes back and kills both of them. You know, that, that should be it. Maybe he kills some people in between. But no. He randomly decides he wants to kill people 35 years later, I guess. Um, very weird. But the kills on this movie are amazing. Um, so there's that. I mean, the first kill was kind of mediocre. It's just, um, a thing going in between both of them, which we've probably seen a thousand times in horror movies done better. But, you know, it wasn't exactly a bad kill. I will say that the characters are probably some of the stupidest characters I've ever seen in horror movies. And that's saying a lot. They don't trip or anything like that, but they're pretty dumb. This one girl bends down in front of her bed, and there's, like, blood dripping down the sheet, and she somehow doesn't see it. She um, closes the door, and there's blood all over in the bathroom. Um, just, okay, <laughs> um, she just isn't very smart. Eventually, the teacher, um, is told that one of the students went outside after they had said that, um, everybody had to stay inside because there was a prowler on the loose, but she had already left before that. So she goes outside to go make sure she's okay. She was told she was in the pool. She doesn't even glance in the pool because of the fact that um, he had killed her in the pool, so there's blood in the pool, so obviously if she looked in the pool immediately, she would know she was dead, but as a character, that makes her really stupid, it works plot-wise, but it's really stupid, like, she's over there looking in the fucking opposite direction of the pool, yelling for her, and then eventually finally looks in the pool, when she was told that she's in the pool, like, what the hell is she doing? Then she eventually runs away and gets immediately killed. Like, such a dumb character. They have these one characters that are about to have sex in the basement or something. And they have, like, an old guy watching them. And then, um... It, it just never goes anywhere. I had thought maybe I had missed it. Because at one point I was um, doing something on my phone for Contest of Champions. Because it was going to expire. But, um... No, it's, it's just not in the movie. Um, they never follow up on it. So I don't know what that was for. Um, there's this one really weird, awkward scene that I, I don't understand what they were going for. And um, the the characters, two characters, um, the guy gets shot. The guy that was killing people. And um, it's one character we saw in maybe one other scene. But now the final girl and him are just like smiling at each other. And it goes on for quite a while. It's very awkward to watch. Then eventually the guy gets right back up and kills him. And then um, he fucking gets his head fucking blown the fuck up. Such a really cool kill. Then the movie ends with, I'm guessing, a dream sequence. Because that was popular in older horror movies. And she has, like, um, a weird sequence where she thinks her friend and her boyfriend attack her. Mainly her boyfriend. The girl's kind of dead. But, yeah. Yeah, it's... It's an odd movie, but a really good movie. It's worth it just for the kills.